Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Campus. I'm Madhurisha, and today we are delving into Task Two of Level Two of our Python Development Internship at Cognizance Technologies. In this video, we will build a number guessing game using Python. Let's get started. So now I'm just making a Python file. I'm giving it the name Number Guesser. You can give it any name. Now. This lines print out a title and a decorative line for our number guessing game interface. Using tab characters helps to center the text and improve visual appeal. Next, we define a function guess the number that takes two parameters: minimum number and maximum number. These parameters define the range within which the player has to guess the number. Inside the function, we are using random dot randint within bracket minimum number and the maximum number to generate a random integer number within the specified range. This is the number that the player needs to guess. Okay, so to use the random dot randint, we need to import the random module first. So just importing that. Now we initiate a while loop using while true. This loop will continue. Until we break out of it using a break statement, when the player guesses the correct number. Within the loop, we prompt the player to enter their guess using input function. The if string dynamically inserts the range limits into the prompt message. We We use an if statement to check if the player's guess matches the random number. If they match, we print congratulations, you have guessed the number correctly, indicating the number, and then just break out of the loop to end the game. If the player's guess is incorrect, we call the feedback function to provide them. With the guidance on whether their guess was too high or too low based on the distance from the correct number. After exiting the guessing loop, we prompt the player if they want to play a game by asking them want to play a game, and the dot lower function used for uh, convert their response to lower case for consistent comparison. Based on the player's response, we check if the input is Y. Then we call the guess the number function again and pass the minimum and the maximum number. Otherwise, we print a thank you message and just end the game. Next, we define the feedback function to provide the player with hints based on the. Proximity of the guess to the correct number. It calculates a threshold to determine whether the guess is significantly off, printing too low or too high accordingly. Otherwise, we print low, try again, or high try again. Finally, we initiate the game by taking user input to define the range within which random number will be generated. We then call guess the number to start the game with this custom settings. So now let's just run the score. So I'm giving the range zero to fifty. Now it's my time to guess. 
is low next 9 is high so obviously obviously the number is between 2 and 9 so i am giving so 8 is the number okay so when i guess the correct number it is showing congratulations you guess the correct number and wanna play again yes i am writing y now this time i am again guessing the number 46 is the correct answer so it is showing that congratulations you guessed the correct number and now i don't want to play again so i'm writing n and it is showing thank you for playing and there you have it you have just explored an enhanced version of the number games in gaming python this version allows you to set custom ranges adding more challenge and excitement it's a great way to practice your python skills I hope you enjoyed this number guessing game with me. Remember, I will be uploading task videos every weekday. This week, we will continue covering the tasks from level 2 of our Python development internship at Cognifizer Technologies. Next week, we will move on to level 3. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to Code Campus for more programming tutorials and internship task guides. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and happy coding.